Okay. Well, Sim Church is kind of a unique, very unique idea because it actually tries to start raising questions about the theology of virtual churches. Okay. So a virtual church is a church that actually takes place on the internet, although internet is really even not a good word because there are communities and there are places on the internet which have become almost like the real world. Um, it's just that you go there and you spend time there either in avatar form or in icon form or another way. So what happens is you have a, a, a very rapidly growing part of our world, segment of our world, who is actually going on the internet and spending a lot of time not just surfing the web but actually living on the internet. So for example, I know people who spend 20 to 60 hours a week on the internet, not surfing, but actually spending time and living in the virtual world. So here's the thing. If you have people who are spending 60 hours a week on the virtual world, in the virtual world, the question is, how do we reach them with the gospel? I mean, how does the church reach them? Um, you can try to get them to go to regular church, but a lot of pastors have said, wait, if they're there, let's not ask them to come back here. Let's go there to them. And so Sim Church, instead of just saying, here's the four steps to make that happen, which is always good, but Sim Church tries to lay down some groundwork that will allow people to ask the good theological questions about how do we get from here to there or there to here, as it were.